ஒன்னாவதுலிட்டி go to the developer console this is my developer console i have created one trigger okay just you can what you can do you can go to new and apex trigger okay if you click and uh, just you can click enter your name and object name then that uh, record will be created similarly after that you can define the even even so you can define so i have defined the uh, after delete similarly before delete before insert after in, uh, after insert similarly you can define whatever the events you want you can use here for example before delete after delete we did um, before update after update and uh, so we, like uh, before insert before update after update and all the even you can able to use here okay and delete also and delete also like uh, after and delete we can use before and delete we should make sure what which even we need we are going to use that even only we should use here okay otherwise it will be unnecessarily the trigger will be fire so it's better approach we need to we should use what are the events we are going to use that even we can specify so now we are going to delete functionality that delete functionality always should use after it should not use the before okay so after delete i i, am, I have written here okay so these are the contact uh, events events types basically and next one is like a, we have the uh, con um, contact variables we have so these are all are the contact variable okay and just copy here pasting for you are just reference only these all are the context variable uh, before uh, trigger dot is before trigger dot is delete trigger dot is uh, yeah, after insert update executable trigger dot new old old one these all are the context variable so what we need to use here right we need to use after is after so there are two type of trigger available is is uh, trigger that is after uh, is before so now we are going to use is after okay uh, for so here what we are going to if trigger dot is before first we will can check so trigger dot is before if is true then we no need to do anything here stem dot debug no action no action okay if trigger dot is after trigger dot after and delete after delete okay so, so that that one we know we already mentioned so we no need to remove that one also trigger the uh, trigger dot is after okay if you put this in the the two triggers available before trigger and after trigger the before trigger we no need to do because we are going to delete the action so in the delete action we should always use the after trigger okay so here what we need to we need to get uh, all the list of records okay in the trigger always should be bulkified for that we need to get if it's a, a delete then we need to get the list of records using trigger dot old okay for example um, list of list of opportunity list opp equal to trigger dot old here we should not use trigger dot new why if the delete functionality the trigger dot new will be empty value trigger dot new means 
null value if it's the uh, delete function or delete. Okay. Trigger dot new. New is null in delete operation. So we should not use trigger dot new. We should use trigger dot old only. We should use. Okay. After that, what we need to do? We need to get the all the op account ID. We need to get because why we need to get all the operation ID? If account is op opportunity is deleted, then related all the account and contact should be needed to delete. So after that, is we have checked is delete after delete and trigger that is before the uh, trigger that is after we check it. After that, one more operation we need to check whether is delete is delete or not. And uh, so one more thing is record trigger dot is delete or not and trigger dot is delete. Okay, so it's after after and and delete. So this condition should be there because we are going to do delete operation. We should use this one. Okay, and next one uh, we got the list of opportunity we got. Now we need to iterate all the account ID. We need to iterate. Okay, for that what we need to we need to opportunity op colon and list of opportunity I I used it here. Now I'm going to use set. I'm going to store all the ID value account ACC IDs equal to new of set ID. Okay, so why set means it will be uh, set will avoid the duplication. That's why add element op dot account ID is the field for to get the account ID from the opportunity. Okay, after that, what we need to do, we need we got the all the account ID we got we got from the opportunity. So now list of account you need to get list ACC select ID comma name from account object where okay ID ID in ACC IDs. Okay, so we got the unique uh, account ID we got and we are getting all the account ID we are getting. So after that, what here what we need to do, we need to use if if list ACC not equal to null and list ACC dot size greater than zero okay if it's greater than zero then what we can do we can delete list acc we are deleting all the context record we are deleting now okay so i hope you have understand the concept now first we need to use the record even we need to use these are the context variable we have if you want we can use uh, based on our requirement we can use it here now I use trigger that is before there is no action two type uh, available. Second, second one is, is uh, trigger that is after and trigger that is delete. Okay, so we are going to delete operation. The after delete we are going to this op delete operation we need to perform. Initially I got all the opportunity ID I got. Okay, I got all the opportunity ID and using the opportunity ID I got all the account ID unique account ID I got it because one uh, more than one opportunity have the same account ID. Okay, that's why we use the set here. The set will avoid the duplicate. So, and I stored all the account ID and got all the account uh, value using the list of account ID I got. And after that, I'm checking the condition. After that, I'm deleting the uh, list of accounts I'm deleting. Okay, now you may have one doubt. Okay, so we, we should if account operation deleted, then the corresponding account and contact should be deleted. Okay, now the account opportunity will be directly linked with the account. 
but the opportunity not directly linked with the contact object okay for that what we need to do so if account is while deleting the account itself the contact will be deleted automatically for example i'm i'm showing you one uh, one test case i'm showing okay not opportunity yes i am using this one i am creating one new contact here just easy okay this contact i have created now for this is account id okay in the account you have one contact you can see this contact is available now i am what i am going to do i am going to delete this account i have deleted the account i have deleted let's see whether the contact still exist or not you can see in the contact also is get deleted so this is a reason if we delete the account record itself the and the contact will be deleted okay i hope you have understand now something uh, if you have any doubts you can feel free to comment but one more thing the best approach is we should not write all the functionality here okay what we need to do we need to write one handler class we need to write we need to create in the in that handler class only we need to write all our business logic we need to do okay so for timing purpose i am written all the logic in the inside the trigger itself i have written but it is not the best approach okay so we need to use this logic inside the one uh, handler class we should write okay so yeah so i hope you have understand something just feel free to come on if you have any doubts uh, i will reply to you okay thank you thanks for watching